is a business designed for an untapped market. Hola, tiburones. Hi, sharks. My name is Mael Frias. And I am Saira Frias. And we are the Frias Sisters and the co-founders of Luna Magic. Luna Magic is beauty with a Latina vibe. We provide high quality cosmetics all at great prices. And we're all about the three Bs. Bueno, bonito y barato. Bueno, which means great quality. All of our formulas are long lasting with minimal product fallout. Bonito, which means beautiful. We have beautiful packaging. Y barato, which means great prices. Our customers shouldn't have to choose. No, no, no. She deserves to buy it all. As beauty customers, we struggle to find brands that spoke to us or show Latinas of our skin tone in the marketing. But guess what? Being Latina is not a seasonal thing. We are Latinas 365 days a year, rain or shine. That's right, sister. And Luna Magic celebrates our cultura, our culture in every way as evidence, for example, in our creative color names like Salud, Dinero y Amor, Reggaeton, Bandi, Salsa, Mamacita, Papi y Bebe, ah. y Oro, Plata y Diamante. Because if we ain't playing it, we ain't living. <laughs> so listen up, sharks. We are seeking $200,000 for 10% of Luna Magic. Yeah, and as a special bonus, Sharks, Tiburones, we will throw in some complimentary Spanish lessons or some salsa classes. Because si se puede, so who wants him? <laughs> Great job. Great job. <laughs> as you can see, we're very vibrant in colors, but what I'm really most excited about for you to really touch and feel is our formulations. You have our Uno eyeshadow palette, which is our first collection uh, designed by my beautiful baby sister. Mabel, are these individual products or is this a package that you sell? Individual. Individual products, yes. Yes. Tell us where you're from. Yeah. So we are from Washington Heights, from New York City. Our parents are from the Dominican Republic. We're uh, the, the first women in our family to go to college. So I was the first one. I ended up going to NYU. And then yeah. I went to Parsons Design School for my wow. master's. What part of La República Dominicana? Santo Domingo. Santo Domingo. La ciudad? Right si, si, si. Oh, wow. Si. Y tu? Mi papá, San Juan, and my mother, Santiago. Okay, Rico. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, you know, we essentially took parallel career paths. I went off to corporate America, and my sister went off to journalism school and then makeup school, so she's the queen behind all the formulations. How much have you sold? So to date, we have sold uh, $16,000 of product Ouch. sales, but as a company, we've generated income of $103,000 across three ways. Again, $16,000 in product sales, $30,000 as a grant, and then $57,000 through a marketing partnership. Tell us what that is. Yeah, so basically, we partnered with a subscription box company uh, in which we developed our brushes, 300,000 units to go out to that particular customer base. So you base. sold to them your brushes that they included in the subscription package. Correct, yes. and to be honest, with you, the way that those partnerships are generally structured, um, you're not necessarily supposed to make money because right. it's no, a marketing. That's why I'm asking, right? Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so my beautiful baby sister, who I call Senorita Wonderful. Senorita Wonderful. <laughs> Wait a minute. So I, much better than Mr. Wonderful. Yeah. I Senorita. smell a royalty. Yeah. <laughs> so Senorita Wonderful did a fantastic job of sourcing the, uh, the factory and also really negotiating for every penny for us to generate a little bit of income. Good for you guys, yeah. Uh, the part that my sister missed is the purchase order was $498,000, right? The value of that purchase order. Now we're getting okay. yes. From who? So we're talking about the brushes. We presented the brushes to the subscription box. Okay. They supplied it directly. Exactly. And after all that crossover, you had $57,000 in profit. Correct. Yes. This is probably one of your top sellers, right? Yes. Um, and I would recommend specific. for you to swatch the green one. It's called okay. Dinero. So if I just go on to your site, what does this cost me? It's $26 retail. And what does it cost you? $3.40 landed. So those are great margins, which is why this industry is so competitive, but it's a giant task to acquire customers. So I'm happy to announce that although we've only had $16,000 of product sales this year, next year we're projected to generate $1.1 million because we're going into Walmart. Uh, oh, you're wow. going into Walmart in Fortune retail? Fortune Yes. How many Walmart stores? So we have two programs that we're walking towards. Um, our first program is 1,538 stores. 
are opening that's, or a, that's half a roll up and the yes, second, and the second one, one is the testing for the end caps when so you say that's testing that's for the end caps what do you mean so basically we're doing a six weeks test of our capsule collection what's on the table right now is between 350 and 800 doors who is now, your logistics you partner to going them? to be for this deal because i have lots of companies that sell walmart really it is it is a challenge to keep up with their logistics because you're going to a thousand stores Quite frankly, uh, we're vetting suppliers, but that's why we're here. We're here for help. How much money have you raised or put into it yourself? We've invested $250,000 oh, wow. our, of our own savings. How'd you save so much money? We've been working since we were, we've, uh, we're 14 years old. Hustle. As Good soon for as you we, guys. Yes. Yeah, that is yeah. Crazy. I am beyond Unbelievable. impressed. Let's talk about the Walmart box. It retails for $5. We decided to give them the $26 eyeshadow palette in their Walmart box. We gave them $10,000. So it was a $30,000 investment. What we had intentionally decided is, hey, we will give you this as an investment, as a marketing cost for us. In exchange, let us in the program. Then they give you over 1,000 stores? We got um, 4.8 stars of customers saying, we love this product, we're so excited. We can't believe as a Latina and that's brand. what convinced them to give you a thousand plus stars. Right. Exactly. Do you have to pay for the end cap position? Yeah, yes. we're paying for the end cap. So How much are you paying? $65,000. Against an order of what for the end cap? The total order will be $360,000, uh, minus 65,000, minus the cost of product, which is about 200,000. How much cash do you guys have in the bank right now? $157,000. Okay, let's take a step back here. Because you guys are all in on this, right? You have $157,000 left. You just told us that you were going to have to buy $200,000 worth of product, Correct. plus $65,000 for the end cap. You don't have $265,000. No. Well, that's what we're here. We're here for help. Well, guys, in order to get there, right, it takes a lot. Yes. Right? Not just financially, but organizationally. There's going to be specific needs there to fill in those gaps for you that are, I think are going to be challenging. I just can't get there. So for those reasons, I'm out. Thank, Thank you, you for your time. In 12 years of Shark Tank, I have never, ever seen a company as so early stage as yours that has both an end cap order and a 50% regional rollout in Walmart. You need a logistics partner in a brutal way. You're like the classic, you've gone out fishing on a little boat and you caught a whale and it's just dragging you right down to the bottom of the ocean. Great and you're hanging on, you're hanging on, and you're trying to reel it in and it's saying, I'm gonna eat these two girls when I get down here. I'm really impressed, but boy, do you have a nightmare ahead. I'm out. Thank you. Thank you. Anyone? I love the story. I love the hustle. Uh, I love Dominican, Washington Heights. I like everything about it. Unfortunately, we're in the business. Jen and I can't do it. There's a conflict. So for those reasons, I'm out. Thank, Thank you, Thank you, we understand. What is your order with Walmart? 400,000 PO value for looking at the, both programs. Okay, $400,000. You have how much of that cash? We have $150,000 in the bank. So why are you here only asking for $200,000? Runs a little short. Well, we were hoping that in, you know, talking to you, to you sharks, uh, we could find maybe different ways, meaning we're open to a little bit of equity, a little bit of PO financing, line of credit. You came in asking for $200,000. It's rare that the sharks say, let me give you more money. Okay. They usually say, let me take more stock. <laughs> are you open to taking more equity? Oh, I'm always open to taking equity. I love you guys, but you confuse me. I'm sitting here, I rewrote your numbers nine times. The business is a little bit of a mess. Probably more than I'm even picking up right here. But I like you, and here's my offer. So I'm gonna give you the $200,000. Wait, do I really wanna do that? <laughs> While she's thinking, I am impressed by everything you've done. And I know how hard it is to do cosmetics, but I am invested in something else that is a cosmetic line, and I don't want to be at conflict. So I wish you the best, but I'm out. Thank you. Thank you, Lori. Thank you. I mentioned you were slightly messy in your explanations on the finance. That worries me. But I'm the most organized person I've ever met. So I can help you with that. Get your house in order with great clarity, okay? So I'm gonna offer you a greedy offer, but it's up to you. 
I'll give you the $250,000 in the form of only a credit line to fund your orders, because you're going to need two fifty, dollars not two. And I want 30% for that. I actually think that makes sense for you, because you, you are in the eye of a, a hurricane right now. I have companies that are struggling with a third of the exposure you have to Walmart, just trying to keep up. Well, let's actually talk about what other additional things we've been doing to market ourselves. Um, I'd, I'd, love, to, I'd the... love to hear a response to my offer first. Oh, sorry. I think sorry. it's the only offer, by the way. OK. Um, does it include the potential opportunity of future PO financing as we grow and prove ourselves through in the business? No problem at all. I never mind funding any of my partners as long as the orders are there. You get 30% no matter what? Oh, I get 30% on day one. OK, can we counter? I know it's the only offer, but if we weren't entrepreneurs. Be careful. No, I'll tell you why. I've walked down the path with the big box stores with many, many products. OK. And uh, Mr. Wonderful, for once is right, it's a hellhole. OK. You have to know who to talk to, when to pull back. There's, it's so complicated. It's a royal pain in the neck, OK? No, it's a, it's a lot of work on my okay. part. I okay. think you have to make a decision. You, you guys are owners. Yes. Barbara, you have a deal. You got it. Yes. 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 You have yourself a great partner, by the way. Thank you. You will. You Thank guys you are going to crush it, Barbara. Great. She'll be great. great. Hasta luego. Bye. You know, we underestimated how difficult the Shark Tank is, but we're very grateful that we walked away with a deal. I mean, obviously, the word messy was a little bit of an ouch. <laughs> Since we're entrepreneurs and we don't take things personal, and the fact that she invested is going to help us clean it up. That is going to be hard work. The biggest danger to both of them is they have stars in their eyes because they hear the name Walmart. <gasps> Walmart I wants know. us. Look, when they came in here, I thought they were selling pizza. <laughs> <laughs>